Hey everyone. This is Ankush. Welcome back to new exciting tutorial. And for those of you who are the first time in this channel, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get latest tutorials. Today we will be creating something like this. So, at first, let's fire up After Effects. Let's create a new comp. Here I am selecting 4K resolution with 30 FPS and 5 seconds timing. Now let's create a new shape layer. By selecting Ellipse tool, create a circle like this. Remember to press Shift key on your keyboard and drag the mouse to get a perfect circle. Else you can also do this, by clicking on Add option. Now align this circle to the middle. Now let's check if this Bezier path is active. If it's not active, then by clicking on ellipse tool, you can activate the same. Now select shape layer 1 and select pen tool. Click on this bottom point and while pressing alt or option key, drag mouse like this. Or you can also press shift key on the keyboard and press down arrow key, to create something like this. Now again by pressing alt or option key, click on this bottom point, to get a sharp end. And align this to the middle. Now by selecting shape layer, select anchor point tool and drag anchor point to this bottom part. Let's duplicate this shape layer. Hit R key on the keyboard to get rotation properties. And rotate both layers to get a nice heart logo. Although if you want, you can also create a transparent heart picture using Photoshop. But here I don't want to use any external image or anything else except After Effects. Now, create a null object and I will name it Heart Adjustment. To assign this null as a parent layer, either you can drag this to null layer. Or from this drop down option. You can also select heart adjustment, which is the null layer. Now I will create some heartbeat effect. To do that, by hitting S key on the keyboard open scale properties, and create some keyframes, like this. Now let's select all keyframes, and right click on keyframes, then select keyframe assistant and ease ease. Select all three layers and pre-compose, I will name it hard comp. Now create another shape layer, as said before, this time I will create an ellipse by clicking on this add option. Then add fill effect and choose your desired color. Let's align this ellipse to the middle. Now let's select new shape layer, by hitting S, on the keyboard, open scale, slide, the slider bar to 1 second 15 frames, create a scale keyframe. Open opacity by hitting T on the keyboard, decrease opacity to 0% and create a keyframe. Slide, the slider bar to the left, 
like this and increase opacity to 100%. Again, move slider bar to 15 frames. By hitting U and then Shift plus P, key on keyboard reveal all keyframes along position. Create a positioning keyframe here, move the slider bar to the right, here at the end of our keyframes. And, drag this scale keyframe to the left, now scale it down to 0%. And change its position something like this. Now by selecting all keyframes, right click on keyframe and easy ease them. By selecting position and scale keyframes, go to graph editor and drag this right point to left, to give a slow motion at the end of the animation. Select opacity keyframes and go to graph editor, slide this right point to the left, just a bit, not like last one, to give a slight slow motion. Let's run a RAM preview. As of now, this is looking good. Or maybe I want to adjust opacity keyframe a bit, as well as scale keyframe. Let's check the difference. Better than the last one. Now by hitting Ctrl or Command plus D, on the keyboard duplicate this layer. Hit U. To reveal all keyframes. By selecting last positioning keyframe, adjust position, like this. You can also choose a different position, as per your taste. Let's change starting scale amount for this layer. Now select all keyframes, and slide two frames to the right. Again, duplicate this shape layer 2 and adjust its last position keyframe, like this. Maybe, here I would like to adjust this first keyframe as well as. Now change fill color for all layers, according to your taste. Now by selecting all layers pre-compose it, I will name it Circle Burst. This heart is looking bigger than my expectation. So, let's decrease its size through scale. Now it's looking okay to me. Now let's duplicate circle burst layer. Here I will make 4 copies. Now select all layers and hit R key, on the keyboard to see the rotation. But I have to change the size of these circles. So, let's click any circle burst pre-comp. By selecting first two layers, hit U key, on the keyboard to see all keyframes. Change starting scale to 50. Also change its position, according to your taste. Let's delete last position keyframe and slide this new keyframe to the right. Also, I would like to change position for this layer. And replace the last keyframe like before. Now let's check through the main comp. Now I would like to adjust layer's rotation. This is okay to me. Now, I would like to adjust individual layers scale and their position. If you want to keep all layers similar, you can skip this part. 
But if you want you can follow this part. Now let's check once through a RAM preview. Looking okay. Now by going through circle burst layer, activate motion blur for all layers. Now let's activate motion blur from this main comp. Let's run another RAM preview to check. It's looking nice to me. Now I will be using hue and saturation effect to change these layers color. So, drag this effect and change color according to your taste. Let's do it for all layers. But in future you want to change layers color, without changing color for all layers individually, you can do it through a simple step. Which I will show you afterwards. Now I would like to adjust these circle burst layers positioning. To do that, select individual layers, and randomly slide them by 2 or 3 frames, like this. Now select all these layers and pre-compose them, let's call them, circle burst total. Again, create a shape layer and add an ellipse, add fill color. I will be using this color, but you can choose any color you want. Now I will color this heart, as per heartbeat. So, find right timing and increase scaling to cover the full heart. Adjust position, if required. Drop a scale keyframe. Move the slider bar to the left. Scale down to zero. Duplicate this heart layer, and drag new heart on top of the new shape layer. Through trick mat, choose the alpha mat. By hitting U key, on the keyboard, reveal all keyframes and easy ease them. Select both keyframes, go to graph editor and animate like this. Now click on toggle bar, and activate motion blur for this shape layer, as well as for this layer. Now let's check once. Let's adjust the position of this shape layer, to cover hard layer properly. Now going through hard pre-comp deactivate stroke from these shape layers. Now let's check once. But it looks like, I should adjust this scale keyframes. Okay, let's recreate this, so, let's delete these keyframes. And let's go to hard pre-comp to check timing. Select this layer and hit U on the keyboard. Check the keyframe timing. Come back to the main comp, increase scale and create a scale keyframe. Again, check keyframe timing through heart pre-comp. Slide the slider bar, scale it down to zero. Let's drag these keyframes to bit more right hand side. And ease ease, then go to graph editor and animate like this. 
Now let's create a background layer, by creating a new solid. I want to go with this off white color. Drag this background layer to the bottom of every layer. I would like to use this same color for the heart. So, let's open this BG layer to copy color code. Then go to heart comp, select shape layers and change fill color, by pasting this color code. Now by selecting lower heart layer, right click on the layer, go to layer styles and click on stroke. Open stroke properties. I would like to change its size to 7. And change color to dark gray. Now select shape layer and hit U key, on the keyboard. By keeping slider bar here, decrease opacity to 0% and create a keyframe. Move slider bar and increase opacity to 100%. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. Go to graph editor and animate like this. Now as I have said before, I will show you how to change circle burst layer color easily. Go to circle burst layer. Let's create a new adjustment layer. I will name it color adjuster. Let's put a hue and saturation effect on this new layer. Now as you can see, once at a time, through this adjustment layer, you can change colors for all layers. Now, let's change this white circle. Choose a color as per your taste. Now I would like scale all circle burst layer similar to their position, so I can add some slashy effects. So, let me undo the previous modification. Now to create a slashy effect, in the main comp, without selecting any layer, grab pen tool. Then by pressing shift key on the keyboard, draw a straight line, like this. Deactivate fill, because I will be using stroke only. Let's choose a stroke color and increase stroke width. Open stroke 1 and change line cap to round cap, as well as line join to round join. Now add a, trim path. Open trim paths properties and animate like this. Adjust start and end level to animate this line. At this point create a start and end keyframe. Move the slider bar to the left and decrease start and end to the zero. Let's drag this start keyframes to the right, to get this effect. Now open opacity by hitting T on the keyboard. Decrease opacity to zero and create a keyframe at this position. Move slider bar and increase opacity to 100%. Let's check once. Okay, let's move this end keyframe a bit. Hit U key on the keyboard to reveal all keyframes. Adjust opacity keyframe, like this. Let's deactivate the circle burst to see this slashy effect. Seems okay. Or maybe, I want to change its color. You can choose your desired color. And let's tweak this opacity keyframes. Now select all keyframes and easy ease them. Select this keyframes and by going to graph editor animate like this. I will do the same for rest of the keyframes. 
Now duplicate shape layer by hitting Ctrl or Command plus D. Change its position. Delete fill and let's decrease stroke width. For this layer, I would like to go for this color. Now duplicate this layer again, repeat the same process. Now let's activate motion blur and by selecting all three new layers, pre-compose them. I will name it slash, please excuse me for naming. Now duplicate this layer thrice and rotate like this. I would like to adjust this layer position. To do that, drag this layer to the left, like this. So, this slashy will go before circle layer. Also, drag other layers by 2 or 3 frames. Now put U and saturation effects on these layers and change color according to your taste. Let's copy and paste the effect, to save time and give individual color. Now by selecting all layers, activate motion blur and pre-compose them. Let's drag this slash total layer below heart pre -com. Activate motion blur. Click on the pre-comp and add an adjustment layer. Put U and saturation effect on it, rename it to color adjuster. Like circle burst, through this adjustment layer, you can change your layer's colors, together. Now let's run a final RAM preview. That's all for the day. Here is our final file. I do think this tutorial will save your bills from buying any templates. Your minimum support through donation will be very much appreciated. If you do like this video hit the like button. If you are new to my channel, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And do bless me so, in future I can help others by providing such tutorials along free project file. So, thank you guys, thank you for your time, have a blessed day to you, bye and see you again.